In this video today, we're going to be talking about how to use Canva for church graphics. So what is Canva? Well, it's really just an app or a web-based graphic design tool for people to create graphics and different types of templates. At Creative Church Co., we create most, if not all of our graphics on Canva, and we also have templates for every graphic that we make so that you can easily edit. And we're gonna show you how quickly you can make graphics each week for church on Sunday. It's really easy to sign up for Canva and they have a free and a paid version. Uh, the free version's okay. You can still do things on it, but if you wanna unlock the full potential and make your life a lot easier, I encourage you to get the paid version. It's only $12.99 a month and it gives you access to everything on the website, including all of the extra fonts, all the extra videos and photos and graphics and things like that. So it's definitely worth the money in my opinion, but you can always just check it out with the free version and upgrade later. Setting up your account is really easy. All you have to do is create a username and a password and then choose your different free or paid subscription and then you're pretty much good to go. Once you have an account, we're actually going to jump in and I'm gonna show you all of the different features and tools in Canva and then we're going to create a few graphics. First, we're gonna look at the right side here. You have your settings, you have notifications. Uh, this is just kind of your profile which allows you to kind of change your picture and things like that. And then it also has create a design. So if you wanted to just get designing, you can just click right here and it drops down uh, some pre-made kind of sizes for you. You can always do a custom size and import certain things, but that's how you kind of get started designing. On the left hand side, you have your home, you have projects, and then you have templates, brand, and apps. So we'll go through one by one. Home just kind of gives you your most recent designs and different things like that. Projects gives you kind of your folders so you can organize all of your projects and keep things nice and orderly. Templates just gives you kind of starting places for different presentations, flyers, things like that. And there are some good ones on there, but they're not designed specifically for churches. So with a subscription at creativechurchco.com, you get access to hundreds of our Canva templates that are already made for you and designed specifically for churches. Next we have Brand, which is part of the paid subscription version of Canva. But if you wanna make things even quicker for you during the week, it's great because it allows you to select your church's colors, your church's fonts, upload your church's logos, and just kind of pull, drag, and put those into your templates and your graphics really quickly instead of trying to find them each time or putting in the color codes and things like that. Lastly is apps, and the apps are kind of just additional things that you can add into your designs, and I'll show you where you can find those when you're actually designing. So let's hop in and create a few different graphics using Canva and Creative Church Co's templates. The first thing that we have here is a welcome to church uh, sandwich board sign. And this is from March of this year. And it's really great because it allows you to just quickly edit and add things to it. We also have a baptism for March um, and we'll show you how to add things in right now. So first thing is you have the design tab over here, which is gonna bring up different templates and things like that. But the elements tab is actually where you're going to kind of really find everything that you want and need to add into a graphic. They have everything from shapes, graphics, stickers, photos, videos. You can add charts and tables. Frames are very cool, which allow you to basically put in a frame and then you can drag and drop different photos on that frame and it kind of cuts it out. It's cool. We'll probably do a deep dive video on some of these tools in a later video. Next is the text tool, which has pre-made texts for you already to kind of choose from, or you can add a text box right here. And if you add a text box, you can change the font, the color, the size, you have the color up here, the different size, and then all your different fonts will show up here on the left. The next is the brand, which I mentioned earlier is a really quick, easy way to add in your logo and your colors and your fonts to a template or if you're creating graphics from scratch. 
Uploads is where you can actually upload your own photos and your own graphics or videos. So if you want to make a social post for your church on Sunday and you want to add in a photo from the service, you can do that right here. You also have a draw function, projects, and then also the apps. Another really cool thing about Canva is that they have all these different apps that allow you to manipulate photos, music, video. You can take the background out of photos. You can do voiceovers. There's a lot of really cool things you can do with the apps. And when we do a Canva masterclass here in the next couple months, I'm gonna go over everything in a lot more detail. But for now, we're just gonna talk about basic creating designs. So if you're on creativechurchco.com and you like this graphic, it would pull up this template right here in Canva. And what you could do is go ahead and just go back up to the elements. And if you wanted to add a directional arrow to this, you could bring this on over, bring it over here, maybe make it a little bit bigger, change the color to kind of match the graphic. And then you could also go to your brand and add your logo. Maybe you want that down here. We kind of center this up. Once you have everything done the way you like it, then you can just export it and you've created a sandwich board directional sign for your church in the matter of seconds. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can tie in the sermon series graphics into your social media graphics through these templates as well. So this is from the Family Friction Collection and with all of our templates at Creative Church Co., we also have social media graphics that correspond with all of the sermon packs. So we'll come in here and we'll hit Control C to copy. We'll click over here, hit B, highlight it. And then you could put a verse here. You could put a question and then ask, you know, yes or no. And then all you have to do is bring it up and kind of resize and change the color if you wanted. But that's how quick it is to make a social media graphic that also connects to what people are listening to on Sunday. One of the most time consuming things that I had to do each week was create the verses that needed to be inputted for the Sunday service. Well, with a template like this, it makes it really quick and really easy. Here we have the template. All I'm gonna do is drag in a text box up here. We'll just kind of line that up. Bring it down here. Then if your pastor just gives you the different points or the different verses that he has for you in the Word doc, all you have to do is copy and paste them right in. So we're just going to bring all this in. We will lower that down to it, till it fits. Maybe change it to something like that. And then you can split this up more if you'd like. If you wanted less verse, you can then add in a bigger font. Then once it's created, all you have to do is duplicate it. And then you can change out the verse or the different point or text in that slide. Once it's all done, it's very simple. All you have to do is go up here to share, download. PNG is fine. That's the right size. And if you don't want all of these, all you have to do is unclick everything, scroll on down and we can do these, and then hit done. Then just hit download and then all your verses are done and then all you have to do is put them into ProPresenter or whatever you're using on Sunday. The last thing I wanted to show you is how to create a Sunday slide really quickly. So if you use any type of slides on Sunday to announce events or to let people know about how to give or next up classes or things like that, this is how you can quickly create the graphics in a matter of seconds. So say you have a church work day coming up and you wanted to create a graphic for it. All you'd have to do is come in here. I'm just going to hit control V because that's already created. But all you had to do is create a text box, type in the day, the time, 
and then hit export. The other great thing about Canva is that it's really easy to change and resize your design to fit social media or a flyer and keep a very cohesive look with everything. If you're looking for a great way to start making church graphics or if you want to make church graphics even quicker, check out Canva and a subscription to creativechurchco.com. Not only do we have hundreds of Canva templates and graphics from you to choose from, but we also have a special right now where after your 30 day free trial, all you have to do is use code one at checkout and pay $1 for your first month. So that's two full months for just $1.